Hello guys and gals and welcome. So I'm excited. I'm really freaking excited today because I have some really cool news to share with you guys. Um, and that news is basically that they have fixed all of the summoning items for the game. Um, so if you have ever used any item like Metal Grid to summon an Iron Golem, um, Oath to summon an Iron Golem, um, if you have ever used, uh, say, a Harmony Hydra Bow to, uh, to summon a Valkyrie, or you've used a Peace to summon a Valkyrie, and you've realized that, well, they don't exactly, you know, stay. Um, the Iron Golems would just kind of de-summon themselves at some point. Um, the Valkyries would just kind of, you know, go away at some point, and they would never come back. Like, you could summon them, but... But they would just, as soon as they were summoned, they would disappear. So it didn't really work out very well to your advantage to have this particular summon on your character. Now, granted, when you switch weapons, um, they should still disappear. Uh, but this one is not. Very interesting. Huh. Um, so I guess maybe the fix that they made also made it so that the Valkyries stay despite you not having the item on anymore? That seems a little odd. Um, so it looks like you could keep... Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so they should desummon when you take off the item, uh, which which is what should happen. Um, the Iron Golem, however, had the really coolest change, uh, which is basically where the Iron Golem no longer disappears. Um, so if I were to put on the uh, Metal Grid Amulet, um, or, for instance, the Oath Sword, either one, um, I would then have the Iron Golem ability. So the Oath Sword has level 17 Iron Golem, and the um, Metal Grid Amulet has a level 22 Iron Golem. And I could take an item, like for instance, maybe something like Beast. I could throw that on the ground. I could throw my Metal Grid on, and I'll have the skill to summon an Iron Golem. I actually have two skills right now. Um, you can tell the difference between them by the levels. So the level 17 one is the Oath, and the level 22 one is the uh, Metal Grid. You can't have two at one time, so don't try casting two. You're just going to waste your item. Um, and uh, if you take off the item, he will disappear. Um, however, let's do some testing. So if I leave the game and I rejoin, you'll notice that my Iron Golem, un unlike before, is still there. Uh, this is a new feature for PTR and basically allows anyone, if they want to, to try and have an Iron Golem. Um, which, keep in mind, he is not particularly strong. Uh, with no synergies, with no Golem Mastery, and no synergies from the other Golems, he's not as powerful as a normal uh, level 22 Iron Golem would be on a Necromancer. So you're going to have to find ways to beef him up. You're going to have to give him, you know, auras to make him stronger, or shouts. Basically, you got to beef him up in some way so that he's stronger than he is normally. Um, you can do that by creating him out of a very strong item. Um, now, this is something that I tested out on uh, the PTR server to um, a great extent. And the Exile uh, Vortex Shield Iron Golem was actually surprisingly tanky. Of course, he gets the 45 all resistances from the shield. Um, and he also gets the Defiance Aura and the Life Tap. So he was, he was actually really easy to keep alive. Um, all I had to do was really not put him in, like, super dangerous situations. Although he did eventually die um, at the uh, council when I fought the, the beefed-up level 99 version of the uh, Travancore Council for the new Terrorized Zones. If you haven't heard about the new Terrorized Zones, check out my video on the new Terrorized Zones. Um, so we have these really cool changes. Not only does things like the Iron Golem on Oath and the Iron Golem on Metal Grid actually work now, um, but also the Valkyrie works as well. So if I were to go out here and uh, and do a little have a little fun and go say um, I don't know, let's go to Frigid Highlands or something. Um, I could potentially um, try my hand at uh, at surviving here. Well, let me take this off. Might help if I actually put some points into some skills, huh? Let's see here. We need an aura. Let's use something to keep him alive. We're not so much worried about ourselves. Let's just grab some salvation to keep our little our little buddy alive. Uh, I hope I actually put my deal on.
No, my iron golem. No. So sometimes you may find yourself running back to town to save your iron golem, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, as you can see, my iron golem almost died, and uh, I went ahead and ran back to town to heal him. I also now have a Valkyrie, the Peace Valkyrie. Um, so as when I put the Peace Armor on, I had a 2% chance to spawn a level 15 Valkyrie uh, to my side as well. And um, for, in my testing on PTR, the Peace Valkyrie spawn from the, the percent chance of striking does not disappear. Um, I actually took the armor off completely, moved along with my day, and she never did vanished. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bug in PTR or if that's how they intended it, but basically you get a free level 15 Valkyrie. Um, in the past, basically what happened was is the Valkyrie would get summoned if you were on a non-Amazon character, and the Valkyrie would just immediately be desummoned, or it would take a couple seconds and then it would be desummoned. But essentially they were useless. So the level 15 Valkyrie on peace, as well as the level... Um, as well as the level uh, 6 Valkyrie, which is an O skill, by the way, and can be beefed up by your plus to skills. The level 6 Valkyrie on Harmony was also useless. So um, what we have here is um, something that I told you guys about. Uh, I, hate to say, I hate to toot my own horn here, but remember I said, I was like, there's no such thing as a small patch note. Like, when you go through these small patch notes, eventually you end up finding these little things that they're like, oh, you know, it's nothing, we just fixed the metal grid. And it's not nothing. Like, it's totally a big something. Um, so not only did they fix the Iron Golem uh, items and fix the Valkyrie items, uh, they also fixed the Raven items. So previously um, in the game, you could not utilize any item that was a uh, Raven charge. So if you were to use, for instance, Crane Beak, or if you were to use a Heart of the Oak, both of those have Raven charges. Um, the Ravens would just simply vanish. They would no longer uh, be around. That you summon them, and as soon as you would summon them, they would go away. If you guys want to see that for yourself, um, if you take a look at my Crane Beak video, which I j just did recently, um, I literally uh, demonstrate the fact that when you summon the Raven, they would summon, and then they would immediately disappear. Um, but now you can actually have all five Ravens up with you if you're using Hoto, so a nice little buff to Hoto. Uh, if you guys are unaware, Ravens are actually extremely useful. It's not about their damage, it's about their blinding effect. So the Ravens will constantly swarm around you and they will blind targets. Um, so as they're running around, you know, doing their thing, they're basically just going to keep pecking out the eyes of anyone who comes to fight you and, uh, and blinding them, which makes it much harder for those monsters to actually hit you or dish out any damage. Now, granted, if they're dead, they're not going to be uh, dishing out any damage to you anyway. But it's basically uh, free ravens, free level, uh, what is it, level 14 ravens on Hoto, and there are also ravens on the crane beak weapon, if you ever find that. And... Um, it's not even really that expensive to repair. As you can see, I used five charges of the Ravens, and it's only 2,968 to repair the Hoto. Um, I could probably burn all the charges real quick, just for fun. And let's see how much it costs to repair the entire thing. Only 35k. 35,615. That's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. So, um, big buff to the Hoto, in my opinion, because now the Hoto has a hits blinds target effect, which can be used by spellcasters, um, especially spellcasters that are not druids, because druids could always use the ravens, by the way. <laughs> they always could, uh, because they're druids, and they innately have the raven skill. But um, the... So, you know, a sorceress or paladin or, or Amazon or, or whatever is using a Hoto for whatever reason, um, now you can actually utilize your ravens as well, which is freaking cool as crap. Um, quite honestly, this little, like, oh, you know, like, like minor note in the bug patch nose is going to have some major effects on uh, some characters. Uh, most notably, I think, is the metal grid, which is basically going to give people the ability to freely create insight golems. So, um, obviously, you're not going to want to make your Iron Golem out of something that is extremely easy to kill. Um, and you're going to want to protect your Iron Golem 
uh, you know, to keep him alive. But at the same time, you're probably not going to want to make him out of something that can't be easily replaced. So what is something that can be easily replaced? Well, inside pole arms. Um, you could make an infinite number of inside pole arms with relative ease, and I, I know I have a beast iron golem already, but uh, if I wanted to make an inside pole arm uh, golem, this would kill my original golem, by the way, so don't forget that. Um, and uh, now I have an inside golem. Um, and if I keep him alive, he should uh, he should do me a very good service. Um, I probably wouldn't want to make him out of something like an infinity, though. Um, this infinity is, of course, very valuable, and making him out of infinity and then having him die relatively quickly would certainly be a sad thing. Um, you know, and there's all sorts of different items that you could potentially make your golem out of. Um, I do feel like having a free Iron Golem, a free Valkyrie, and free Ravens is definitely a very awesome thing. Um, and I'm sure that it probably has also affected things like the Spirit of the Barbs, uh, the Heart of the Wolverine, the Oak Sage, and so forth and so on. So I could probably even summon them uh, fairly easily now, although they're really relatively low level, so they're probably going to die relatively easily. And, uh, you know, you know what? Let's even throw on the, uh, the bow. I can't use this yet. What do you mean you can't use the bow? You little turd. You little turd. Is it the armor? What? Wait. How did I suddenly lose the dexterity to, to wield the item that I was literally wielding earlier? It's amazing. Ah, yes, the uh, the Mars Kaleidoscope was giving me five stats. So basically, what it comes with, what it comes down to here, is that you can have free Valkyries and free Iron Golems now that you couldn't have before. Um, if you ever wanted a Valkyrie and Iron Golem, but you felt dismayed by the fact that they constantly disappeared, well, guess what? They no longer do. Um, now, do keep in mind that you do have to keep the amulet on to utilize this particular effect. Um, and it's not exactly a bad amulet. With 450 attack rating, 350 defense, and all resistance is 35, it's not a terrible amulet, and it gives you free Iron Maiden if you want to play around with that. Uh, the charges are not actually ridiculously expensive to repair, but you probably don't want to be utilizing them too often because obviously your Iron Golem is supposed to stay alive, so you really only use one or two charges, and then that's it. Um, and then you're probably not going to use any of the charges anymore because obviously your goal is, is to keep the Iron Golem alive, not for him to die. Um, however, do keep in mind that if you die, the Iron Golem will die, and if you take off the amulet, the Iron Golem will die. Um, so definitely don't want to take off the amulet and lose your precious Infinity Iron Golem, as I just did. Um, I make these mistakes so that you don't have to. Now, um, you could also make them out of a really tanky item, like an Exile. And granted, the uh, Oath Sword also has this effect. I don't know why the Oath Sword is made in a, uh, a phase blade. I need to fix that. Um, but um, you definitely would not want to you put the Oath Sword in an Ethereal item if you wanted this effect. Now, granted, it has 14 level 17 Iron Golem charges. So if you did make an Ethereal Oath, as I talked about earlier, you don't necessarily want to be spamming this. So you could theoretically use an Ethereal Oath, um, you know, item and burn the charges one at a time. And probably it would last you for a long time, assuming that you keep your Iron Golem alive. However, if your Iron Golem dies on a regular basis, then you're going to burn through all 14 charges relatively quickly. And do keep in mind that if you make this an Ethereal item, you're not going to be able to repair the charges. Um... All in all, really cool update uh, so far. Uh, I also have a video on the Terror Zones, which is really awesome. There were a lot of other minor patch fixes that, uh, that really were minor patch fixes, uh, but, um, but we definitely did have some very interesting ones. Um, the Metal Grid Amulet, the, um, the Valkyrie being fixed, uh, the, uh, the Oath Sword being fixed, essentially. And also there were quite a few lines in here basically about keeping the Iron Golem from despawning just in general, not, ju not just charged items. Um, apparently there were a couple different lines about the Iron Golem. Uh, fixed an issue where Iron Golems could lose an aura granted by an item they were created with when the Golem was frozen. Uh, fixed an issue where Iron Golems created in a previous game would disappear instead of teleporting to you. Fixed an issue where environmental... Um, fixed an issue where Iron Golems summoned through a charge of a skill granted by Metal Grid, example, would disappear when performing an inventory update. 
fixed an issue where iron golems created by a charge skill would not save between games. So the iron golem, along with the Valkyrie and the Ravens, all received some very nice love today. And uh, I'm going to leave you with a really funny one. For some reason or another, the iron golem got nerfed. I mean, not the Iron Golem. The Blood Golem got nerfed. <laughs> I don't know why the Blood Golem deserved a nerf, but he did. Uh, difficulty penalties for Life Drain now apply to the Blood Golem's attacks. Fixed an issue where Blood Golem was not correctly stealing life from a PvP opponent. Um, so basically, the Blood Golem's lifesteal was not applying difficulty penalties, which means he had better lifesteal in Nightmare and Hell difficulty than he should have. And they basically restored the penalties to the Blood Golem. <laughs> So the Blood Golem has now uh, now been nerfed. I don't know why the Blood Golem deserved a nerf, but there you go. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, I hope you're uh, interested in Metal Grid and also the Valkyries now because they can actually be used. And, uh, and if you have a Hoto, your Ravens can actually be used, which is exciting. And as always, keep creating Iron Golems.